A backup of your website is only useful if you can restore it. Perhaps you need to transfer your web host, or even move the site from a development server to a live server. To begin with, take a brand new backup of your website. Once the backup is complete, go to Manage Backups and download the backup file to your computer. Now that we've downloaded the backup file, we need an additional program called Kickstart, which you can find at the akibabackup.com website. Go to Download, Akiba Kickstart, scroll down to the link to the downloads, and click on Download Now to download the Kickstart program to your computer. The Kickstart program is not a Joomla extension. Here we can see that the Kickstart program is a zip file and we need to extract that. On most operating systems you can do that simply by double clicking on the file name. We can see we now have a new folder with all the kickstart files in. The only one that you actually need is the kickstart.php file. All the rest are language translations. We now need to transfer the kickstart.php and our backup to our brand new web host. And to do that we'll use an FTP program. I'm going to use FileZilla but you can use any FTP program that you like. To begin with, connect to your new server. Once connected, make sure that you are in the public HTML or the web root of your server. Now, you need to transfer the backup file from our local computer to our live server. I'm just going to pick that up and drag it across. We can see the upload is taking place. And we now have the backup file is now on the new server. We now need to take that kickstart.php file and do exactly the same thing. Select it and drag it across. That's it with the file Zilla for now. So let's go back to our web browser and go to our brand new website. As you can see, I have a holding page in place to show that the website's coming soon. So just go to the special URL for kickstart.php. The Kickstart program is now running. Kickstart is not an installation program. It's a special archive extraction tool. We can click here to remove this message and we can see here that it has detected the archive file. We have two methods of extracting the files, either directly or using FTP. On most good web hosts, we can use the direct method. And finally, click Start to begin the extract process. The Kickstart has now extracted the backup file and provides a link to the installer that was built into that backup. The installer is a very simple process. We begin with the required settings. As you can see they're all set to yes. If any are set to no you won't be able to proceed and you need to speak to your web hosts to rectify the errors. We can now click next. This warning indicates that Akiba Backup Installer has detected that I'm restoring the website on a different server. So it's prompting me that the database information it knows about is incorrect for the new server and do I want to clear that information? Well I do because it's a new server so I click yes. I now need to enter the database connection details that I've got from my web host. Enter the server host name which is usually localhost but that may depend on your hosting and your database username and password. And finally the database name 
that you want to install your website on. Again, this is something that your host will have provided to you or you will have set up yourself within your host's control panel. Enter the database name and scroll down and there are various other options which you shouldn't need. So let's go back to the top and click next. The restoration process of the database has now been processed and we can click OK to continue. We now have the opportunity if we wish to change the site name and the email address. In most cases when you're restoring the site you won't need to do this. If we scroll down there's also the opportunity to change the password and the email address of the super administrator. And finally click next again. The site's configuration has all been set up. Now what we need to do is close this window and we're now back at the Akiba Kickstart program and click on clean up. This will remove the kickstart.php file and that big backup archive. Now that we're done we can visit our website. And here we can see that the website has now been transferred from our old hosting account to our new hosting account.